Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to We Review You. I'm Sean, and guess what? It's another product review time. It's from our friends over at G-O-O-L-O-O, Gulu, Golo, whichever you want to pronounce it. And uh, you guys know the OBD2 type scanners um, that you see at the garages where they check your problems. You have like a check engine light come on. Well, uh, that's what they've sent me today. I'm going to do a collaboration with them. It's on their Deep Scan DS200. And today, We Review You. All right, and hey everybody, I'm trying a new look today. This is on the dual record setting on my S24 Samsung Galaxy Ultra. I love that, so ding ding, hopefully that pops up. And I'm also using my brand new wireless uh, microphones. Our friends over at Fufine, F-I-F-I-N-E. Great, great product, you can check them out. Uh, links are in the description, and if you want, you want a great wireless product that you can rely on, that can deliver great, crisp, clear sound, great audio quality. Both that on top of the Samsung Galaxy Ultra S24's great, great picture-in-picture -picture quality. Look at this. So I want to show you guys something here for the first time. I'm going to try something different as we go into this video. So look, haha, -ha, here I have it here. That is our brand new uh, deep scan device. And we're going to try something different here, a little different approach. That way you guys get a little bit of the Smoky Mountains, get a little bit of the great uh, October atmosphere, fall-like time here as I'm doing a product review on a DS2. OBD2 scanner. So if you guys ever had a check engine light come up as we're opening this up in the what's in the box section, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, the actual um, diagnostic tools are really, really cool that you can get because some of these things actually allow you to diagnose your own vehicle. So you know, uh, if you go to one of the park stores in your area, uh, you can actually say, I checked it and it says I need this, this, and this. And what's cool is it'll deliver right to your mobile phone. So when I get through here, if you guys don't fast forward, uh, we'll actually have a section on the app itself because app is what's controlling the actual scanning device. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys, I'm actually doing this in real time, but I'm gonna go back and we're gonna record now from the back of my truck. You guys can enjoy the Smoky Mountains while we do a product review, ha ha. All right, ready, here we go. All right, so the cool thing about this, while we'll do the what's in the box section, thanks again for coming to the channel and watching this video. Uh, this is really cool, just pull out as it shows here, so you can pull the device right on out. There we go, it does have an instruction, little manual it looks like there, and then there is your little device. Okay, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna set that down, because it's windy out, I'm gonna put that back in here. I'm gonna put it back inside the box for now. That is your setup information that you'll need. Here it is, the one I'm showing you, sorry. That's the one I'm talking about. Oh, and you can see it's a little windy out here today, so work with me. All right, put that back in here. We'll set that down for now. And there is the device, that is the DS200. And what's really cool about this is this device actually will work with most of your vehicles out there today. You guys know the ones I'm talking about, right? Plug that in under your steering wheel, you'll be able to find in no time what's going on with your uh, vehicle. So if you've got a check engine light, that may be one of the first things that you want to check out is to see what is causing that check light uh, engine light to pop up. Why is it coming on? And then how can I make it go away? Well, in this case, we're going to need to go to the uh, app itself, which is what we're going to do. And then we'll go back and we'll try to run a diagnostic on one of our vehicles. All right. So let's go check that out. Pretty cool. And that little reference guide that you guys saw that I showed you a minute ago, it's got a really, really cool thing. It's got a, a I should say a pretty cool option there. You can scan the QR code and it's got some bilingual, uh, bilingual options there, but it shows you how to use the deep scan. So you're going to need to download the app from the Google app or the uh, and, uh, Apple Play Store. It works with both. Uh, register and log in. And then uh, if you're registering, obviously the first time or log in if this is not, and then download the software. And then from there, all you're going to do is plug that into your vehicle's uh, OBD2 port and then uh, scan your device simple as that now that bluetooth connection will go to your mobile device and that way you guys will be able to see in real time what is going on with the vehicle and i can't wait to check that out next so i did want to show you that that's what this little uh, pamphlet was for and i did want to show you that that was on there if you needed multilingual support there is that option right on there and you can see here it lights up green and then it'll connect you can see i got it plugged into my obd port here too so yeah, if you guys have ever had that annoying check engine light, follow along. I hope you guys have made it this far. You know, it's shocking sometimes you take the uh, stats and you see people cut off after a certain amount of time. It's like, 
come on, you know it was important to watch it to this far. That way you know how it works. So you want to make sure that the thing does light up green, and then you'll see uh, it's saying allow when it turns blue. You want to go ahead and allow it to uh, bond with your device. And then you're going to see where it says connecting to the device. You want to allow it. And you'll have to forgive me, guys and gals, because I want to have to blur the screen out here because it does show some sensitive information. So I went ahead and blurred this portion out. Of course, that's not what your screen looks like. But um, I did not want to have my activation code and everything else uh, to the public. So you will see that show up. And then I'll go ahead and take that back off. And there is the deep skin uh, tool uh, dashboard, I should say that's got a lot of powerful features in there this is really cool like it says powerful scanner in the uh, in your pocket and that's exactly correct so this would allow you now i don't have a check engine light thank goodness if i did um, this would allow me to go in there and kind of figure out what is going on with my vehicle uh, and see now uh, i'm going to show you guys what you're going to need to do uh, i went ahead and plugged it in i wanted to run a couple little tests on here and you'll see where it allow you to uh, uh, well, you'll see where it says accelerate to begin. So you'll want to go out and take a drive, not just be sitting there. Uh, I was actually just sitting in the driveway, uh, actually not doing the full test. Uh, I just wanted to see what it would be able to do. And so I did just go ahead and run a couple of little quick things on there. Um, and then I was like, no, let me go ahead and run uh, the exact way that they want you to run it. So I'll show you that. But there is a test that you can run 0 to 60 on and do so as you can see here uh, i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to exit out of here i'm going to go back to the dashboard and um here we go i'm going to click right here and then uh yep i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to select the different ones i was trying to see which different ones i want to get so since i have a, a ford f-150 i definitely want to go ahead and select ford so let's scroll through here up oh, there we go ford and let's go ahead and download that ford uh, there we go. We're going to go ahead and download that one. Now, I also have a Chevy Camaro. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I passed that. There we go. Let's go ahead and download Chevy. Click on that. And Christy's got the Mazda. So we're going to go ahead and download the one for the Mazda. And you can download whatever you, you know, if, by all means, download them all. If you need to ever run it, maybe you're a mechanic or you're in a garage or you do that type of work. This would be the perfect opportunity for you right from the mobile phone. Now, as you can see here, it'll tell you exactly what to do. And it'll tell you to, uh, well, show you little prompts first. Of course, you want to go ahead and acknowledge that you understand. And it's showing you, um, you know, like what this does, what this does here and all that. And go ahead and just hit next as I'm doing here. I'll let you guys see it, but go ahead and hit the got it button. And then do you have an automatic or a manual? And once again, I'm gonna have to go ahead and gray this area out because as you hit it, um, you push the button and it will automatically tell you what your VIN is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bypass that completely. As a matter of fact, I don't wanna have my VIN out there for the wrong reasons, so, or right reasons to the wrong people. So once I've put that in there, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, um, after it ran this test at 100%, the only thing I had was a seat belt restraint other than that, truck's running fine. I love it. Get you one today. Links in the description. Tired of searching for library music? Find the perfect track in seconds. AI search. Intuitive tags. Search exclusions. Fresh, curated, original by award-winning artists. Trusted by major brands and creators. No copyright strikes. Just great music. Melody. Melody music. That's where I get my music. You should too. Yep. I hope you guys like that. I love being able to find out something like that in the palm of my hands. I hope you all do too. Great holiday upcoming gift idea. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Take care, everybody. Watch some more videos. Subscribe to the channel. Peace, peace.